Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Amy with Amy Plans Things and today we're doing a planner setup. So I have a bunch of planners here. We're shifting things around a little bit. I had a huge planner lineup for July. I've enjoyed it, but I did get some new supplies as well. So I'm actually going to be not using this monthly this month because I didn't really get into it as much as I thought I would. And I got a new planner from the Daily Grind. It's a daily planner and it looks kind of like goal setting. So we're going to use that. It is disc bound, but it doesn't fit with this. So that's separate. I have an unboxing of that on my channel already. So you can check that out. I'll try to remember to link it down below, but it's one of the recent videos so you can find it. Um, and so I'll be trying that for like daily pages and goal setting. Um, and so this is everything else that we're going to be putting in. So let's go ahead and find all the pages and pick a cover to use for this month. Okay, just moving things aside. What month are we in? We are going into August. Oh my goodness, how are we in August already? This one is my stress management planner. This one is what I'm attempting. It's aligned vertical and I'm attempting to start faith planning. Didn't go too well this month because it was a wildly crazy month. I underestimated summer and activities and just life through a few loops at us. You know, we're good, but um, things got busy. So I didn't use it that much, um, but I'm hoping to continue working on that. Um, this is the catch-all. We'll look through everything as we get it into discs. I'm just pulling everything out to move everything out of the way. This one's the checklist layout, and I love it. I've been using it for social media. Super fun. Okay, and then... This one is a vertical layout, and it is for my creative journal. So what I do is Franken planning, and I put everything in one um, set of discs so I can carry it around the house. This is my notebook where I keep like everything for my Etsy shop, and I've been setting up my August printable trackers. And so we'll pull those over. This is really thick. I'll take out part of it. It's 12 pages and I print on really nice paper here. Um, you can print on anything, um, but I prefer, you know, heavier weight paper. Okay. So I think for discs, let's use this squad cover because I love it. And now we have to pick out some discs. So we will get a big disc container and take a look. Okay. Let's see. Those look nice. Oh, that looks really nice, actually, though. So does this, but this is Snowflake. I love the color, though. I think we might go for this kind of... I don't even know what it is. It's kind of purpley. Yeah, let's go for that. Okay, I love this jar, but the only issue is that it's not organized. It's very aesthetic. I like looking at it on my desk. But I can't things when I need them. Okay. We're going to pause, pour it out, and find it. Okay, so I've got that so we can put it all together. This is so cute with this color. So the thing about... <laughs> can't talk. It's, you know, five something in the morning. 
The thing about Happy Planner, or I guess Disc Bound that I love, is that you can switch out the discs and the covers as often as you want to. So, this one makes me very happy. <laughs> So I still have a few things I will need to pull over from my current Franken planner, but since it's not quite the end of the month yet, it is the 25th today, um, I can't pull over everything yet. But I will soon. I'll show you the things that I'll need to move though. So you get an idea for the full setup. Okay, so bullet journal pages will go behind the creative journal. Not bullet journal, bullet journal-esque. Um, <laughs> really trackers. Okay, then we've got social media, which we'll put behind all of that. And one of the great things is that these setups are quicker now because everything is dated. I was using some undated last month and, or two months ago, and it just took forever to set things up. Here's the catch-all that goes right in the front. Faith planner would go at the back. And stress management planner can go in front of August. I do need a little divider since August, my pages don't have a tab. Let's grab a little divider for that. I've got this uh, little bag down there full of things. So, sunflower themed, that one might be good. That's a big, so that's not gonna fit. Oh, squad could go with the squad things. Maybe, maybe just pink. Okay. Thinking, thinking, I have so many of these. Okay, I never pulled the plastic off this one. If you didn't know, there's a plastic protector on all of these. So obviously I haven't used this one yet. That is pretty. Oh, that one's pretty too. Okay, haven't pulled the plastic off that one yet either. I'll do that later. Okay, put those aside and decide from these. Oh my gosh, too many choices. I think I want one of these. I just love the dark colors on them right now. Totally doesn't match the front of the planner, but I like it with the sun power. Let's get the uh, shiny one in. Okay. Great, so now I have a little divider that I can you know, open straight to this page. So let's take a look at what we've got. Oh my gosh, everything's off. Okay. Let's take a look at what we've got. So this is the catch-all planner. It is totally neutral and vertical layout. I will probably always use a vertical layout for a catch-all other than like one-off weeks that I do something different with it. Then we've got my creative journal. It's also a vertical layout, very similar, but there's, you know, color up here. I'll link all these planners down below um, in case you want to take a look at them closer. Um, this is the stress management planner. It is not on the Happy Planner website right now, but I love it. It has some really cool stuff. Um, but hopefully they come out with another one in the fall. That's when this came out last year. All right, then here are my August trackers. I've been slowly 
coloring them in and setting them up. <coughs> mm, excuse me. All right. So here's the August cover page. Everyone voted on Instagram for sunflower themed. Here is my goal page. My goals for the month are to exercise three times a week, daily stretching, 10 new Etsy listings, and keep the kitchen tidy. It tends to get overwhelming throughout the day and then would clean up at night. So my goal is to kind of keep it together throughout the day more. So it's not so much work at nighttime after the kids go to bed. All right, then I haven't set up anything else yet. Um, I've got August mood tracker, August habit tracker with six habits you can track. August step tracker, sleep tracker, gratitude log, a 31 day challenge. So you can choose any topic like reading or decluttering or whatever you want. Self care bingo. I'm trying to get, you know, a bingo of doing self care activities. I just highlight it when I've completed it. A notes page, month in review page, and then a just coloring quotes page. So this is available in my Etsy shop. I'll link it down below. Um, you get access to the PDFs pretty much as soon as you press pay and then um, it's downloadable on the Etsy site and there's an email link in your inbox. So if you are using it with your Apple ID rather than Etsy login, there's sometimes a bug where it doesn't let you download it and then you just email me and I'll send it to you. Um, but it um, is a weird Etsy bug with that. <laughs> All right, so this is the checklist layout. I've been using it for social media. I'll do a setup and show you how um, I've been using this in another video because it's worked out really well. And then here's the faith planner. I think I'd also like to put a few notes pages at the back because I always need those. So let's just take a look. I have so many folders or notebooks down here full of filler paper. I've got these on expander discs with filler paper. Let me just think about what I want. Let's go with these ones this month. These are cute. So just grabbing a little stack of them that's maybe like seven or eight pages and put the rest away all right so that's pretty much the setup of how i prepare for the month by getting everything into one. Oh, i do want to show you um planning thing sent me stuff for their fall release look at this i did this on my own um it was a busy day so I did it in little segments and didn't film it, but look how cute that is. That's using two of her new sticker packs, the boxes and the fall book, and then one of the new washi tapes. And I'm in love with the spread, but it is for the first week of September. So I won't be using it for a while because you know, fall. So I wanted to at least get to September before I, you know, started doing fall stuff in my planner. Um, but anyways, Let's see. So my catch-all planner went oh, under all the other planners. Okay, move things out of the way. Here's my current catch-all and it's been awesome, but we do have a few things that I will move over eventually. So like I have all these one-off pages up here, um, including reading goals. Um, and like journaling pages. I haven't filled this out yet, but I'll move all this stuff over at the end of the month. And then I need to fill out the currently pages for July and then move over August's currently pages for all these planners. Um, so every single one has it. Then I also have, look, here's uh, July's uh, tracking spread, so cute. Um, but I have this exercise set of things and I've been filling it out only when I actually exercise. I don't need it any other time. This is the fitness journal from Happy Planner. And so I have these pages that I haven't uh, used, but I have decorated. So I'll move over the unused portion at the end of the month as well. Um, and that's about it. 
so yeah here is my franken planner for the month of august and it's so cute and i'm so excited um i love it uh let me down but oh my god i can't talk this morning you guys it has been wild um let me know below how many planners you're using and if you put them all together into franken planning or if you keep them separated all right thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all next time bye, bye.